I just felt like <laughs> I'm on the Tony Hawk tour at ESPN. Like they got me. Like this is totally safe. And like just wah. And it hit me. Like, dude, like, get your shit together. <laughs> this is just you. You're the only one. <laughs> Hello, hello. What's up? How's it? Oh, good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. What do they say in Canada? Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, hello. Sorry. You're Everybody... not Canadian anymore. No. Call the case here. <clears throat> yeah. Half Canadian. Is that what it is now? You refer to yourself as a half? I don't refer to myself as that, but I mean, I feel, I feel American and right. I will always be Canadian. Right. Yeah, me too. I mean, not Canadian. And but. you can never win, right? Because you go to Australia, you're an American, and here you're an Australian. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, but he suffers through the accent thing because they think he sounds like an American. We think he sounds Australian, so he's just Do you ever hear a Canadian accent you on Yes. You? Yeah, right? Yeah. You do. So it's, yes. if, if people do you get that, that? No, no. I do, absolutely. Oh, okay. When I say sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm super Canadian. Yeah, I wanted a house. If, yeah, they got a weird house yeah. thing that they do. you do. say couch? Couch. Or do you say Chesterfield? I say couch, <laughs> but, the fuck's a Chesterfield? but Chesterfield is in my vernacular. From, yeah, from I heard my, that from my, a Canadian once. So I was like, "What? What did you say?" What's a couch. It's a, a, couch brand, a it's a brand name, right? Oh, I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Like, I don't really know either. But I heard someone say that once, and I was like, "What is and Chesterfield I heard, I remember, a brand?" That's a good question. Someone said Serviette. That was in UK, though. I said Serviette. No, we say Serviette. So much of Canadian vernacular is like comes from England. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. Serviette is a napkin. Yeah. We do that. Oh, you say that? I used to make fun of my, the last time I, I this is the last thing I ever uh, talk shit on my little brother about before he passed away, where he goes, pass the serviette. And I went, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he goes, serviette. And I'm like, and I'm in Australia. So yeah. I'm like, this guy's calling it a serviette. And everyone in the room's like, yeah, dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, ah. It didn't work at all. Yeah. Well, glad we established that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Colin, welcome. Thanks, Thanks so much for, for having time. me, guys. I honestly was coming here thinking I was on just the Jason Ellis podcast, but it turns out I'm on Hawk versus Wolf. I'm honored. Is that an upgrade? It is. I feel Unfortunately. Like, I feel like. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately. I mean, I love you, dude, but fuck. I wish the Jason Ellis show was like, whoa. But it's kind of like, all right, well, good luck, bro. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. I need this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys have been friends for a long time. Uh, I've known Colin since he was very young. I've actually known you longer than longer I've known this, yeah. this guy. Yeah. 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 When was the first time you two met? I would have been, I think, 13, probably. Were you maybe no, on 13? And I, like, I was on Powell, but not like on by, flow, no kind of. Like, you know, just some like Kevin Harris's kind of under. He was the, he was the prodigy at the Richmond Skate Ranch. <laughs> it was <laughs> Kevin Harris's. Right. The indoor, he's, guy. His skate park, right? Yeah. So Tony came up like, and when I think back, like, you know, I, I think about this, like Tony comes to our little skate park to do a demo for us. Yeah. Like, just like, you know, everything this guy probably has going on in his life and finding the time to come to Canada to do a one man demo for one, just you. Oh, maybe Staub was there too, backing him up. Like, Road dog, but he definitely came it on. It would have his probably own. been that if, one you might have been just it might have been own. might have been Ray Underhill and me. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Not just stop. to hold it down for yeah. like two hundred kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, like that, that sounds right. Well, yes. Underhill killed mini ramps, so yeah. Ray was one of my faves, dude. Like you know, it's like when you're a young kid, just meeting a pro, like yeah. that guy's your yeah. favorite pro all of a sudden. I'll yeah. never forget before we met when um, in 1986 at the Sealand Bowl contest that happened with the Expo contest, Dave Hackett was sitting behind, be, behind yeah. me, like just sitting on the ground. He was like, he's like, hey, kid. And he had like a giant Thrasher sticker in his helmet and he blessed me with it. And I was just like, Dave Hackett, that's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Yeah. yeah, that is. I would think the same thing too. Hackett gave you a sticker. I'd be yeah. like, no way Hackett recognized me. So to that point, Ray was like, I mean, aside from being like one of the nicest guys ever, yeah. right? And like just... So supportive, I felt as a little guy, like the way he treated us on the ramps. But like Ray was also one of my favorite dudes, just from him showing up there and skating with us. So then, 
Birdman shows up at a demo with those two and then he, you guys talk because he's like, <clears throat> Whatever kind of conversation, you know. You tried to be like, like, hey, I think, I think he, was on, uh, well, he, he was on the ramp yeah. for sure. Skating, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, oh, this guy. Like, And I saw, I think I when I first saw Colin skate, I, I identified with him too because he was small like yes. I was. And he was doing tricks that were more like lean towards the stuff that I was yeah. doing back then. And I was like, oh, this guy. And, and I could just tell that he had it. Right. And he, he had the stuff. And he could squat. <laughs> right. I was cursed. And with yeah, the squat. yeah and right. that was a thing though, where it was like, oh, because he could do, you know, big like tail grab fives and one footed stuff. And That's then, right. and if it didn't come right, together right, just squat it out. And I yeah. was like, I know that vibe. Yeah. I like doing tricks and Tony did tricks. Yeah. And therefore, like, I leaned towards his style of skating. So it was incredible to have Tony come up. And skate a demo for us. And we felt like it was like literally just for us. Like it might as well have been like a birthday party. And Tony was like there to skate this demo. But one of the things, and Tony and I were just talking about this, like there's this skateboard floating around. And it's one of Tony's old boards. Okay. It's like, yeah. it's one, it's a board. And this floating happened. around. It, <laughs> it happened. You've had it for I, Well, not 30 the whole years? time. I'll tell the story though. But like, so when Tony came through, like me and my friends had this thing where we would just wear like the craziest, Double XL, the, the baggiest clothes. stuff, like, it, okay. like to an absurd, like overdone, like ironic. <laughs> it wasn't even that. Way. It was it was more that that everyone else is wearing baggy stuff. It was late eighties, early nineties, and he was so small that it just it, it looked like he's in a tent. Yeah, the shirt went to the ground. Yeah, yeah. My crew took it like beyond. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. We thought it was hilarious, and so we would shop at Big and Tall Men when we were like fourteen. Yeah. You know, and so so anyway, he he went home and just. You know, just because he thought it was funny. And back in the day, these dudes would write on their boards with paint pens. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Tony wrote on his board, he wrote, Call him a K, extra large. And then he went and he won a contest on that board in Del Mar, the Del Mar Vert Contest. Yeah. And that was 19. And you saw photos. That was 90, 1990. 90. Well, yeah. the mag was 1990. Yeah. I know because we just found it or whatever. Oh, fun fact. I won the street event too because oh, it did? got rained. The finals got rained out and I qualified first. Oh, so there was no final? <laughs> there was no final. Yeah. Sweet. I was definitely like, like not Matt Hensley was definitely finals, going to win. Yeah. <laughs> because his run awesome. was so good, but he bailed during during the semis and then it was like, ah, we're just going with those results. <laughs> and Burke guy like, made his yes. whole run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so then like, so I come to the skate park a few months later and like my friends are all like, oh my God, check this out. And like, have you seen it? And I'm like, go in the shop and open the mag. And Tony's like, has a shot of his head and it just, and it says my name on his board and we're all flipping out and like, so crazy. Oh my God. Just a really cool thing for yeah. a 13 year old. And I didn't know him like that at all. I couldn't call him a friend yet. Just to like, yeah. skate, but it was, it was weird to have, to time. have like, uh, a photo in the magazine holding your board. You know what I mean? Just a full page holding your skateboard. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. get skate shots. Yeah, that magazine. doesn't happen a lot. Yeah. yeah. And then it's got the paint. Do you think that's why the photo tape? was posted? Because you had his name written on the grip tape and Definitely it was like not. a thing? Definitely not. But, but Underhill did a nice way. nails logo on it. It was too. cool. Yeah, it was a dope was Oh, perfect. It was dope. It yeah. was. Looked like he used a ruler for it. Yeah. It was sick. So anyway. <clears throat> Years, years later, so that was 1990, so probably around like 2005 or something like that. You didn't meet again until no, we met many times since that, but oh, yeah, you come stay with me in Fallbrook and oh, okay, skate a lot together. We became friends after that, but like 15, maybe 20 years later, I have a shop in Encinitas, an RDS skate shop, and a guy comes in, it's Steve Sherman, the famous photographer, comes in and he says to me, He's like hey, do you remember there was like this board that like Tony had? And I'm like, do I remember? You're like, that was like a monumental thing yeah. in my life for, yes, of course I remember. He's like, would you want that board? I would trade you for some pro- stuff for my kids. And I was like, yes, please. Anyway, I got the board. Then I've had it for the last 20 years. And then anyway, it's come up lately. We've been talking about it. And that's the, that's the story behind that board. Yeah, cool. so... uh well, for one, someone sent me a photo. I want to say it was Sluggo or someone visited your house and, and they took a yeah. photo of the board, but just the top of it. I'm like, look what Colin has. And I was just like, what? That's crazy. But I just saw it in the, the they just, he just gave it to the foundation. We're going to auction it off. 
Oh, shit. Awesome. And I just saw it in their room, and it's complete. Oh, it's your whole setup. The whole setup. He yeah. always do that. He draw, yeah. He doesn't but but that doesn't day. let that rare. Rarely are there any completes out there. That I mean, from those days, okay. at all. People Everything end up pulling gets, it apart. Yeah. So this so, thing is sat in my garage, and I look at it all the time. And I'm like, this is the coolest thing I own right yeah. here. This is the coolest thing I own right here. But it just sits there and does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one that sees it. Funny side note, dude. I was at <clears throat> when I lived over in. Um, like Carlsbad on the water there, and there was like a asphalt yacht club company kind of in the like next apartment over or whatever. Mm -hmm. Your son Riley was there, and a couple of his friends were there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna blow their mind. I'm gonna pull out this board and you know, whatever. And so I bring it out. I'm like, hey guys, check this out. Like your dad's board, whatever. And everyone's like, oh my God, that's so crazy. Like, wow. And I'm like, yeah. And I leave it there. And then I go inside and I'm doing some stuff. And I come back out, and one of his friends is tray flipping on it, oh. and, like landing on the tail. And I'm like, what? the fuck are you doing like this board's like 40 yeah. years old now like so brittle my prized possession yeah and the dude's doing trade like, oh, get off the fucking board dude. <laughs> what are you doing yeah so got it back like the fact it didn't break on that was just like a miracle that's what i actually um uh, you know the discord house yeah minor threat yeah Salad Day's album cover where they're all on the porch and he's mm -hmm. got his board mm -hmm. we kathy and i went there a few years ago um ian invited us to the discord house and he has that board same Which board one? the board that's on the cover oh the really minor threat album oh wow just sitting this thing up and uh he's like yeah man you want to you want to ride it okay <laughs> no. and then i cruise down the hill on it wow and he he still rides it that's his skateboard it's not like oh he's not a collector's thing no he rides it's just it. his skateboard from wow 30 something years wow. yeah but in that case i would have panic too right, right? Yeah. to see someone just because you know they're gonna land on the tail and break it and you know this thing's just so dry and yeah like, and you just like, and you came in was like you guys want to see this really yeah, precious my thing that i have yeah I my own yeah totally well hey i and I, riley's just like bro i got hundreds of those <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count <laughs> not the same um well thank you for donating it i'll um i'll have to go get it yeah I'll show it yeah that's sounds... pretty wild it's it's like honestly like my pleasure and it's like an honor to be able to like l keep this thing's life oh, going and, it, and gonna, give it to someone that will love it as well as benefit the skate park project. It's like it's definitely it, going to create some excitement. I feel like I'm getting more out of no, doing oh, that thank than, you. than you guys it's are. Awesome. Yeah. Do you remember when um, you would stay with me at Fallbrook and we'd drive up to Mountain High to go snowboarding <clears throat> half day? <clears throat> what? <laughs> Just right you when two? snowboarding, yeah, right when snowboarding started, basically. Right? So like, <clears throat> did you snowboard? Because like right you're when Canadian? they right when they started letting it into the resorts, Mountain High was one of the only places that you could do it. Okay, here in California, had you, had you already I, I snowboarded? I had been snowboarding like once, maybe, but this is before like bindings had like they'd figured it out, you know, and they were still like really hard to do. So like, I go to Tony's and he's just like, we're going, like we're ready to go. We jump in the the hatchback Civic, yeah bomb as we're going it's getting worse weather and worse weather yeah. this guy's not deterred at all he's just <laughs> yeah. like we're going snowboarding today <laughs> for sure in a blizzard and i'm such a little kid and so another cool part of the story is that like i have no gear and so we go in tony's garage and the gear that he finds me i either i think there was two so there was a black with fluorescent Green bats, one piece zip up, bad boy club. Yeah. Or oh, think, yeah. <laughs> or I think there was another one with orange bats. So he's like, Do you want the orange or the green? And I was like, I okay, guess so I'll go green. So I have this one piece zip up, bad boy club. <laughs> driving yeah. up there, the weather's just getting so bad. I mean, like, just driving that Civic through that snow yeah. in the mountains yeah. was like death defying, you know? <laughs> so, like, I'll never forget this. Again, I, you know, like, I'm staying at his house, but I'm like 14 I still don't know this dude and like we get up to the top of the thing and like it's like sideways snow like burning your face <laughs> sideways snow like can't see wow I'm in what a my fun afternoon bad boy outfit like no way 
you know, like keep in mind, I grew up in Vancouver with like <clears throat> the North Shore Mountains. Like that's what you do after school. You get the tram five minutes, you take a run or two, like, oh, there's clouds, you go home. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Here Whistler we're in like, powder. That's yeah, his life. Here we're in like yeah. sideways beating ice snow. And frozen getting snow, Getting off right? the chairlift and all this like, and I have some like, what would the board have been? Like GNU or Kemper, something? Like, for Kemper. sure. Yeah, Kemper is the only okay. board I had. So then I can't get my bindings on. Cause I'm such a little kid and it, I'm just like, ah, I don't know. So like the scene is like Tony Hawk, like hunched over on his <laughs> knees and sideways sleeting slow. And dad. I'm just sitting there like with my hands down, like, is it done, Tony? Like, are we ready to go? And, he, and I'm, but to me, this is Tony Hawk in front of me, like trying to like wrestle with my bindings. I'm like, this is too weird for me to deal with right here <laughs> and i think we i i think we just went to the bottom of the hill and we're like that's a wrap and then we drove we're home done. skated wow how many hours is that each way two and a half for one run yeah the, not just one run the other thing that i got out of that day was like so when we left it was like oh we you know no fun whatever he took me to a subway sandwiches yeah okay Never seen a subway before. Oh. I was blown away. Were you like, excited you just stand about here it? And, oh, like I was floored by it. <laughs> I was wow. floored That's by wild. it, dude. I don't. I, and so we got our foot long subs and like bow down before the like through yeah. the snow in the Civic. Like, dude, like I'm just a <laughs> no, memory of a lifetime. But it's man. so vivid. I just, I just remember that you and I drove up there. Like my memory was that uh, let's go snowboarding. Yeah, okay, let's go snowboarding. Ah, it sucks. Let's drive home. And yeah, just think, I, I have to be in school like two days later. Like I'm like Dude, Tony Hawk. I was just eating Subway with Tony Hawk snowboarding in Big Bear yesterday. Yeah. And now I'm in school in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, that would be a hard transition. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have some attitude at school. <laughs> but we did. I think we did sure skate the ramp that that day. Your mini yeah. ramp, yeah, Dude, yeah. that that mini ramp was so sick. Yeah, like, that was giant fun. giant mini ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. Is that the, Fulbrook? Fallbrook, yeah. yeah. It was uh, it was seven foot transition, six feet high on one side, and then uh, no, eight foot transitions, seven feet high on one side, and then nine foot transitions, seven feet high on the other side. That I remember seeing Chris Miller do a backslide ollie on it, and I was like, wait, is that a vert ramp? Because he did it in a way where oh, yeah. he doesn't really have a street ollie, but he cracked like five foot high backslide ollies on Mill that No loss. Um, didn't he like bowl it out after or something like that? Didn't he put a big uh, on something? the vert ramp? On the so vert, the, right, the vert ramp the had ramp. a spine to a mini ramp. I remember that so well. Like the, yeah. the hardest thing ever to skate on a vert ramp was the vert spine across the yeah, whole half deadly. of the ramp. Like yeah. you and Chris were like the only dudes that could. Well, the could, worst was trying to go from the mini ramp side to the vert side. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just like chasm. Yeah. Yeah. And you come up to it, you come up to scoping, all you see is flat bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It's Fuck frightening. Yeah. Um, but the, so that, but what we did was we changed the vert ramp. Um, that used to be a spine into a mini ramp. And then we changed the vert ramp size. And when we did that, we lost the spine. So we ended up making that bowl an elbow. I remember the elbow bowl. What do you mean yeah. you changed the size of the vert ramp? How do you do that? No, so, yeah. The, the vert ramp, we talked about this before, but the vert ramp was, it was about 12 feet or, yeah, 12 and a half. It was like and it was big almost 11 foot it. transitions. And because it got so weathered and it was masonite, it just got super slow. And so I said, oh, we got to go back to regular size vert ramp, which was, I think, 10 foot transitions. And so my dad said, well, we'll just, we'll just mold it into the existing transition. So he built, you know what I mean? He built yeah, a template, no, I did, like, I did, it's insane. But, the, but then the, because that, that brought it in, we lost the spine. Right. And because Thank we lost God. the spine, we're like, let's just do a whole new mini ramp. So that's You know, story. I got to skate that one time and I don't know who got me there, but you weren't there. Like there's no Tony Hawk at Tony Hawk's ramp, but we're going to Tony Hawk's ramp and we're skating it. And it's iconic. I've seen it in all the videos. And I'm like, I'm going to fuck this thing up. <laughs> and I got there and I was like, how does he do anything in here? Dude. It was so slow. It had like a kink in it. Oh, yeah. yeah and, that was the tail end. That was, those are the bitter days. Right. But yeah. I didn't know that. And I was just like, you guys are fucking... Like, I don't understand how anyone did it goes... Have, did it have the mini ramp with the corner on top? Or did it have... It had the, the spine with the bowl on the other side. 
Oh, okay. So that's when that's when it got so slow. We had to we had to change okay because that. that was to do to go. Yeah. I was like, how, how do you go head high? Did you go down the double roll in thing? Yeah, yeah. That thing was. I, I was just about to mention that I like, didn't do very well in there. <laughs> I, I remember <clears throat> sessioning with you, and same thing. Like, how do they skate this ramp? This thing's insane. Yeah. How hard it is to skate, and Tony going around the back. And then come in, and I'm like, what is he going? <laughs> comes out and whap, front side tail grab, one foot, like foot straight down. And it, I and I had never seen that before. I was just like, oh my God, that was intense. But I remember thinking, like, man, this guy would be doing the same exact thing if I wasn't here by himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, he, prob he probably did <laughs> several hundred times. Just like here, man. People ask me, like, does Tony skate? And I'm like, Constantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yesterday alone. That with cup cam and your leg and doing a backside Smith grind, I'm like, you're such a warlord, dude. You did a backside Smith yesterday? He didn't drop yeah, it in. It took a while. He wow. starts from the bottom wow. and then he does a backside Smith grind. I'm like, I don't want to argue with you, but how the fuck does that work? Like dropping in. It's because you uh, got to put that weight on the front foot, huh? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm getting through there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start dropping in again. But, yeah. um, but yesterday, the hardest part was was setting up frontside to do a backsmith because yeah. my, I, I still don't have that good pump. So I'm not doing stra scratcher grinds anymore. I'm doing five O's, but sometimes my leg buckles in going into that and then I don't have the speed yeah. going to the next wall. So, so did you do it on the fart? <clears throat> on the face wall, wall yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Dope. So you, the lean to tail, the back smith? Yeah, what else? getting there. What else? That, well, I don't know. We'll see today. Okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Sick. Dude, Today, son? front crook to Faggy in, in your honor. Right. No, just kidding. <laughs> Perfect. I, like, I thought you were serious. I was like, dude, come on. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to go home. This guy. I swear, like, Con had, he he did a, you did a, you had a revolution. You and Danny, obviously, but but you in a, in, in a way that was, like, very much born of street skating and using the coping like a ledge. Yeah. And I look, was- Making it look proper. Making it look proper, yeah. And, and I mean, some of the stuff you were doing is, is just unreal to me, especially through those years, like X Games Best Tricks and stuff. Back tail, big spin in. Thank you, dude. That means a lot coming from you, of course. But sure. like when he, when he says that to me, all I think is like, like three months ago, you did a front side 540-50 fakie, which I can't even like wrap my head around walking up the tranny trying to picture like what happened there. Oh, uh, uh, he doesn't even. Yeah, you mean like a, the body barrel thing? No, I mean like the front side slide. Oh, the slide thing. Yeah, the thing, like yeah. that's just like can't even wrap my head around. Oh, that. yeah, but that's so that like if you if I showed you what I did, you would just do it. <laughs> no, he does that. He just says it like oh, this is just childish but game this guy, trick. Like I, I just, I mean, front crook to fakey. Like I, I learned that trick because of you. Dope. And that became part of my repertoire in contests and everything. And I just what a remember, cool like, thing, dude! He just said right? he learned this trick because yeah. of me. Wow, that's that's yeah. He hasn't said that. Yeah, because that's the <laughs> probably because that was the only thing ones I could do. <laughs> and it's like you know, you also had there's like just a few little techniques to like figure out once you get them. It unlocks like a world of yeah. tricks, like the backside revert and yes. the, the front yeah. crook to fakey, yeah. and like it just unlocks so much stuff. And do you remember when you? It was just you and Bucky and I in Japan. Yeah. Course. It was like tail end of the Bones Brigade, um, as we knew it then. Yeah. And somehow they invited us three to go to Japan for demos that no one was at, hardly, right? There were some people I mean, there. I, like a few? I, I, I feel like there was a few people there. Maybe like, I'm confusing the other tour that I did. How long were you in that, Japan with just those? I like don't know week? because that was my first tour i ever did so to me it felt like there was lots okay of people wait there. your first tour ever was to japan with bucky lessing and my oh, first first tour was we, with caballero no we did a couple of big vert demos i take that back but i remember us skating these indoor parks and very few yeah, people and, were there and no one was there the yeah. soapy indoor park yeah yeah but i remember when the the fakey five was done and it like do you remember that yeah i felt like i was like Closing down Webley Arena or yeah, something. Yeah. You know? yeah. But yeah. but it was it was fascinating because that was one of the first times where I was on tour with skaters that I felt like I was akin to their styles. And so we were all learning each other's stuff. Yeah. The totally. whole time. Yeah. 
Like um, I remember Bucky learning the front side blunt slide fakie and just yeah. being like, wow, this is like real vert progression happening right here. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, you and I were both like, well, maybe we could all learn that. Or, you yeah. know, I think, I think we all learned, did we all learn front side blunts over the spine or something? It was like, okay, if you're on the team. Yeah, totally, you totally. Know, like you get this is to, to be on the team and then we all learn the same tricks. At one of the demos that I was just talking about, like I was trying to do, like I was doing gay twists and I was like, I was like, I, th I think I can take this around, you know what I mean? And like, I kept trying it and trying it and like it was getting close and then he was done skating and they're like, all right, like it's the, the demo and this guy- Oh, like, they would stand on the, on the yeah, flat bottom and they, they, like this they were us. like, no, we're, what? we're done. But this yeah. guy was like, no, no, like he's, he gets to keep, you know, gave the word, like let him keep going and then whatever. And then tried it and eventually made it or whatever. But that was a, mo a moment, a moment. So there was never any uh, like, I'm going to do this trick. Don't try to- do my trick, like, or hey man, I'm gonna try and do that. I think trick we were just excited on. that that each other could could and would learn that stuff because yeah. we never toured with people that we felt were, you know, it, it, it's not that anyone was any better than anyone. It was just more that like, oh, this is a, we're all in the same kind of style camp. Yeah, of what tricks we try. That's interesting to know that people of your talent all are cool with each other doing each other's tricks. But when you're a guy like me and you ask, hey, man, I really like uh, that cab pointer grind thing you guys do. Can I do that? And then I tell, I ask him and Danny in a <laughs> hotel room and him and, him, him and Danny Way go, Let's, let me think about that for a second. And they leave and they go out onto the balcony for five minutes and then they come back in and they go, if you can do it in three tries, you can have it. <laughs> and I remember, I remember not even. Wait, have it. Does that mean you're sad. passing the torch sad. to them, or he gets to do it? He, in addition he, to he may be allowed to to use. The <laughs> trick. Wow! But like you and I just kind of briefly <laughs> talked about that the other day, where like, you know, someone starts doing your shit, and you're like, I'm just not going to do that trick anymore because I just I'm not I don't like how it looks anymore. I know when you do it. So the worst one for me. I got my. Lexicon. I got one. I'll never forget it, and I regret it too because. Now I look back and I'm like, dude, so unnecessary. But totally. uh, Giorgio Zatoni, such a good guy, you know, awesome, dude. and an amazing skateboarder. And he got on pal and I didn't get it at first. Like he liked some of the stuff I did and he would do it in my face. And like, did you see that? And I'm like, yeah, I fucking saw that. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you were supposed to be honored by it. Yeah. yeah. And I look back and I'm like, dude, he was totally he was. Trying Excited to, about yeah. It, yeah, and I was yeah. like, dude, get your own fucking slaw bear. Like, and then I did the, I tried LU Bindi fives and I couldn't make it. And then he just made it one of his moves and it was super good. And I was yeah. like, I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I totally. hated him. See, I like guess that's the difference is that, is that if I saw a trick Colin was doing, I just wanted to learn. I wasn't going to ask permission. <laughs> right. I just little... wanted to learn. And if I could learn, I'd be like, oh, I just reached a new level. I should clarify that if I had have started trying cab pointer grinds, they weren't going to disown me. It was just I was trying to be respectful. And <laughs> well, that, that was like the weird thing <clears throat> that happened back in our generation that like isn't now is that like if you just tried a trick once, sort of no one else was allowed to like try that trick. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, or, he, or he, you were marked. He, yeah, he tried yeah. it. It's his trick. No, he didn't land it. Yeah. Like we can try anything. It doesn't mean you own the pretty much when you land it is when it's your trick. Yeah. So I see that though. Like it's not like that now, right? What you're saying about like the compliment thing, like someone being a fan and doing it. Like I see that these days <clears throat> with some people I'm around, like, you know, I can see clearly like, Oh, this kid's doing your tricks because he grew up watching you skate and he's a fan. Yeah but he's never been like educated on the fact of like some people don't like when you do their tricks right. and have the exact reaction you have. Right. And I found myself talking to people like, I'm, I, they, I don't think that's a diss or like a, I'm better than you. That's a like paying homage yeah. to what you do. Yeah. That's how you should say it. Yeah. If you're for sure. not an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I took it. But how uh when we did that best trick event here what was that a year and a half ago two I think years it'll ago be like uh, two years in BD. so i know you hadn't been skating very much and then you were trying frontside cab kickflip over the eight foot gap here is that right yeah mm -hmm. 
And so great. I wasn't here, but, but I heard the story. And so the way that the, the NBD challenge went a couple years ago when we did it was that everyone got an hour or a half yeah, hour? an hour. Each person got one hour on the ramp because we were through COVID, we're doing it through COVID. So everyone got one hour on the ramp with a filmer to get the best trick. Yeah. And a lot of people tried to play it safe by, you know, getting one in the bag and then moving on from there and whatever. Yeah. And f- by all accounts, Colin is just trying frontside gap kick flip, right? Oh no. no, you did a big spin. Yeah. He did a big spin over the gap. Okay. Which was backside big spin <laughs> over the gap. Yeah. Ridiculous, yeah. right? Already. MBD. Did you do that one early on? Yeah, like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, like so that. he did that one, got one in the bag, and then he's going to do frontside gap kick flip, which is just the full pipe dream trick, right? Over the gap. Not if you're him. If, if, you're, if you haven't been skating, especially. Yeah. And Galena was here, and I guess Galena came out and was like, this is it, time's up. You got, yeah. you got one minute left. Oh, wait, and you did it in one minute? Nice. Like it was, That's it was awesome. the last try. Yeah. For sure. That's yeah. and fucking sweet. like one of the best tricks that's ever been done out there. And oh, that was you, so dude. amazing that you could just bounce back into, like, how do you, how can you do backside big spin on vert and, and cap, frontside cap kickflip having taken a hiatus? So I took a long hiatus, right? Yeah. I was going through like personal struggles and I was out for a long time, not skating. When I came back, I had not skated in like years, like years, especially vert. And this guy texts me like, hey, we're doing a best trick. And I haven't even been on my board. And I, I hit you back. I'm like, oh, dude, I can't, can't do it. I'm just not like, right. there's, there's no way I can stick yeah. to that. But I mean, also, if you're doing a best trick event on vert, Carl McKay is one of the first Which I was like, I was yeah. so incredibly like flattered and, and like being away that he would even reach out to me, you know? Right. And then I <laughs> literally sat there like, oh my like 15 and then I hit him back. I'm like, no, I can do it, dude. Like for, okay, well, let's What do made it. you change your mind? Cause it's him and it's him right. asking me. And like, it's like, it, it was what I did. You know yeah. what I mean? And it was just like an, an incredible opportunity not to like, like get in just a, like a personal challenge, yeah. like for where I was at that point in my life. And so then I think I came here and skated twice before that. And like, you also, you know, but it, like, Sorry, it, like it, but it's not <laughs> like I was like, now I can big spin the channel. And now I, it was like, I'm terrified. Yes. Like, I'm terrified. When I did the big spin, I think both my trucks banged off the coping. <laughs> and I'm just like, partly because I'm so, haven't skated, I'm so out of it that I'm not even like in tune enough to jump off. I'm just like, just you know, telling myself what I would tell myself in old best trick contests, like, just stand up. Just no matter what, just straighten your legs. <laughs> or squat it out. Straighten whatever. Your, whatever it takes. Or squat Sorry. it out. Whatever. Just, just straighten your legs. And I did that. And, and like, it, it's deadly, dude. And then on top of like your ramp was the slipperiest ramp. Oh, yeah. Ever then. Yeah. You know? I and I was like, I was like straight up. I was terrified yeah. doing this. Anyway, I did that trick. And then I, you know, did the cab flip. Got so lucky. I was so happy. I just like. Just wow, what a thing. I didn't didn't think I could do that. Now that I'm skating and trying to skate and like I'm conscious of like, okay, big spin the channel, like I can't do that stuff right now. Cause I'm, I'm like now I'm focused on what's going on. And like that was just like, and, like straighten your legs and riding away. Like I don't even know what um, I did or what happened. That's my right question there. to you about all that. So you did this best, best trick <laughs> thing out of nowhere and was like, man, Tony's asking me, I'll step up, I'll do it, pull it out of your ass with two bangers, then stop again, right? Mm-hmm. What made you be back here? Right now? Yeah. Just because like I'm I've organically gotten to a place that I'm like, man, like skateboarding seems like a fun thing to do at this point. You know what I mean? And like, just like, I was trying to figure all my whole personal stuff out and what I was doing with myself. And I wasn't ready to like dive into skateboarding yet. And, you know, like people are are also always like, to, to not just me to all like, why aren't you skating? Why don't you drop apart? Well, like, you have to pay bills too and like have something to do and make a, you know what I mean? And like, Mm -hmm. 
if I just go skateboard, no one pays me to skateboard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so like, I do just this whole, you know? I just think that now, even with you got all of you guys like skating now we're older and like you took time off i took time off he didn't take time off but he's going through some <laughs> yeah, shit. I, I, I have yeah but it's more of a i don't know if it's nostalgia it's more of a i feel like we're skateboarding because we just want to skateboard and exactly it's never there was always you can i for sure was at the contest because i love skateboarding for sure but there was also a part of me that was like do good or be broke you know and that that pressure you don't know it's there until it's gone like now where i'm like make it don't make it i'm making it for me yeah there's no oh you know it would be good to get it in the magazine or it would be good for my spot like i don't have any i just want to make it that's it and then it kind of made me realize how much i love it it gave me more respect for myself because i was like you're you know what i mean like you're fucking old and you're like wrecking it. You're excited about it. My hand is so jacked right now. And oh I'm God. like, I am taping this thing up and we are skating today. Like that's, that's what I said. The first thing I pulled up here and, and he's like, dude, I jacked my hand. I'm like, it was numb this morning. I can't make a fist. I was like, oh, so we're not skating. He's like, oh, we're skating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that's how this conversation was going. <laughs> but that's I'm, such a great thing to have in you still. Like, dude, I don't, it, I, it, I fear it, the day where that's over. Like where it I, is wild though that you came cold turkey to do those crazy hard tricks, yeah. and then after that started building a foundation of all right, I gotta get back to basics and yeah. learn back and, and that's what I'm just like, doing, what? you know. But Which is like, my fun. That's the most fun, Colin, to me. Is Colin doing back is is so I'm like, hey man, we can kind of relate. That's like what I do because usually it's like. Oh my God, what are you, I don't even know what you're doing over there. Like, come over here and do old skateboard tricks with me. <laughs> and now he is, so it's like way more fun. But that like coming out to do that contest, like that's part of like the glitch in pro skaters that like, I gotta like, you, yeah. you feel this like obligation deep yeah. down. Like I'm, they, I have to do it. Like, no, you don't, like no one cares. But like, so then being gone for a while, like, you know, getting my whole like everything, figure it out all i had to do was change everything and yeah. so once that got sorted out i'm having the funnest sessions like of my life right. back here right now with like you can't even believe the lineups i'll text people like i just skated with tony cab mcgill ellis alfonso yeah, and ridiculous. bucky no big sure. deal yeah like <laughs> and i have i feel like zero pressure yeah i feel like and I honestly feel like when I was like really in in it, like I was always like trying that, that I'm enjoying, like you said, like dialing in fundamentals yeah. and enjoying building like a solid foundation yeah. to then build off. And like that stuff will be funner. And I have a video like coming out in two months, not my video, but a plan B video. And like, there's just a, like a hint of like, you gotta get clipped for the video. And it's just like a weird, like- Did you get something? Not yet. I've been like, like just like building to get to a place where I feel comfortable to like, yeah. I wasn't even in a space where I could just try stuff. And I thought back in the day, like if you're not landing, there's no skill involved to just try things. And now I'm like, no, just trying that is scary. Yeah. yeah. And dude, like, I'll share this with you. Like, as I coming back skating here and stuff, and like, dude, this is the best ramp. I mean, I know you know this, but this is hands down the best ramp that's ever been built mm. ever by. I didn't build it so by I, such I, a I, long I, shot. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I commanded it to be built. Yeah, but, you wrote um, the check. Yeah, this yeah. is a good idea. Um, that I'm like. You know, I, I, I'll skate and I'm like, man, like, I find myself being, if, if I'm totally honest, being like scared of shit that I'm like, I can't believe, like, I'm doing a backside and my feet are flapping off. And then like, I'm like, I'm scared. Like, this is scary yeah. to me. And it's like hard to, to admit that, that this is scary to me or, or hard to me or whatever. And I'm watching this guy skate and I've had this conversation, like sitting with Cab going, you just skate every day, dude, and it's not dangerous at all. Look at this. That's guy. what I thought up to about two no, months ago. So this, yeah. this is what this is what yeah. this is what happened. And Cav and I are like, yes, he just skates every day, yeah. dude. Look at how how, how yeah. safe this is, Steve. Yeah. This guy cannot <laughs> fall. 
Matt, now that whole theory went out the window, yeah. and I'm back to back. Uh, to, I think back I just <laughs> I, I, I agree, but I, I I just flew too close to the sun. Like I was just like ah. Every yeah. day, yeah, no, no problem. I got, I got all those chicks all the time. You just look so yeah. comfortable yeah. to me and doing stuff that I'm like, was he if, this? If good I get at these back there, tricks back then, if I get back there, I'm not taking it for granted. I'm not. You're gonna do. We're gonna. I know. Stuff. Now we're now we're learning the same tricks at the same speed. So hopefully we get. Uh, Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I just learned backsmiths too the other day. So you did. Yeah. It's the the most frustrating thing for me is that I know I can do the physical move of the trick, I can't get to the top to do it. Right. You totally, know what I mean? So totally. it's just like, if, if someone just pushed me up there, I could do the thing, but I can't use my legs to totally. do it. That's what sucks. Oh, totally. Man. <laughs> I mean, but you know what? Like the other day, I'll say this. When you did the lean to tail, and I know you have that like glitch, and, you're, and I was like, oh God, what, what next? And then you just got off. I was like, what a mature individual. So he's not, to he's not <laughs> yeah, totally but, broken. What you don't know is I've been talking about that. Madonnas and like. But what you know has been talking about the lean to tail slide for yeah. weeks. Yeah. yeah. And then, but, but you yeah. did it and you yeah. stopped. You didn't say, now I'm finger flip lean to tail. And I was like, that's what <laughs> both Bucky and I were like, oh, what's he going to do next? And he said, no, he just, he's going to fight the next day. He's right. going to come back. Let's talk about uh, gigantic skate park tour because I feel like there was some great times there. And obviously you're a really good friend of mine. Tony's a good friend of mine. And we were on tour together. And there were some scenes before and after demos that I felt like were some of the coolest things I've ever been involved in. My son just looked at those DVDs in the, in the office and he's like, what are those video games? I'm like, no, nah, man, that's Tony Hawk tour. Your dad was on those tours. And then I started to remember like when we went, we went to so many different places and lived such a, did you NASCAR? Like, yeah. Did you skydive? I didn't skydive. When I look back, like <clears throat> I'm, I'm so thankful to have been on, I think I only went on one of those tours and it was like the East Coast one and doing demos and stuff. We had different crews yeah. along the way. Um, you and I and Sal, were the only sort of consistent members. Right. Um, and then everyone would swap in and out. Right. And skateboarding was very campy back then. Like it was broken into very clear camps. You know what I okay. mean? Okay. Yep. Yep. And I, I think I was on Girl at the time and like I was always like conscious of the fact that this dude would invite me. I felt like honored to be able to like join his camp i could kind of like go between camps a little bit right and yeah. like jump onto that and i was always like that was really cool and i like looking back i'm like how did i not go to like the europe one or something like i mean we had so much going on back then we were all so busy, it was crazy you know what i mean yeah but there was like tours and then there was the, the gigantic skate park tour yeah, yeah you know on that tour in europe I was on a, I went to a nightclub that was on a boat in the river. I don't know what's going on. I'm just like oblivious to everything and I'm drunk. And all of a sudden I'm getting into a nightclub and I'm like, isn't this a boat? And then I go in and it, yeah, it's a nightclub. And I'm like, well, that's really cool. And then I'm in this little room in the back and it's got like a low roof. So you can't stand up in it. And it's these, I don't want to say strippers. These two girls that were doing a, a fire show that night. So, and they don't speak English and no one in the room speaks English and they're all smoking uh, hash spliffs. So I'm in, you know what I mean? I'm hanging out in this room and they're sharing it and they're pretty naked. And at one point, one of the girls stand, like the guy goes, blah, 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 blah. And I can, I know that he's saying, show this guy your tattoo on your private area. <laughs> so she just stands up in this room in front of me and, and drops him in front of me and I'm like, what? She had a forest tattooed on it. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, what's a forest in your forest area? Really cool. And then the other one had red stars tattooed and her nipples were red. They tattooed. I was like, wow. And she had metal teeth. Wow. And then they were like, come out and uh, see the show. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And they put me in between the crowd. So I was like, where security are. So I'm standing there and they're doing the show and they were spitting fire over me and the fire was like dropping down on me. So I had like hot 
fire <laughs> while I was watching these girls. I'm like, this is the greatest time heaven. of my life. Like, <laughs> I was like, this is the greatest. I like thing how you equate that to the skate park tour because was anyone else there from the skate park tour? It had to be. There's no way I walked in there by myself. <laughs> I was in Europe. Oh, there's a way. There's a way. There's I feel way, like it was a uh, uh, big hair guy. I think I was with him. Oh, uh, Rob. Yeah. Oh, Rob, yeah. I think it was one of those, like, we're going to go, we're leaving the skates and going deep. And I'm like, I'm in. I think about, um, it was, that would have been, it was anarchy. Like, yeah, I cannot believe the stuff that we were allowed to do, the stuff that did get, people got away with. I know. I mean, like, there's a, I think the only like glimpse into like the real bus is like in the RDS video. You know what I mean? (laughs) Maybe, (laughs) yeah. Bumps and stuff like that. Um, Oh, those were great times. Oh, that's when they kidnapped me into the into the B team RV. Right. Yeah. 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 So we stopped for gas and they're like, hey, Tony, da, da, da. and then and then I came out. It was like, oh, these guys want to meet you. And I came out and then someone grabbed me and stuck me in the RV. No, the, but the, the clip bus. in the RDS video is like me, you, cab, him on the bus. Oh, okay. Doing beer bongs. I'm wearing yeah. like a mustache or something, like a gas station <laughs> mustache or something. <laughs> um, I wish, I always think like, man, the only time I would have skydived is like, I never would have said no on that oh, tour, yeah. but I wasn't there and I've never had an opportunity like that since. Yeah, remember we went to that, we went to that water park and people were jumping off of fences into slides and stuff and and- it was already like we were going to be in trouble for that. And then they aired it. Okay, speaking of air and stuff, Rick Thorne and I and Rooftop, while they were doing a Pirates of the Caribbean thing at the at the Pirate Hotel in Vegas on the Strip, we jumped- Jumped onto the ship Onto the, the show. ship while wow. they were doing the show and then jumped off into the water. And then they put it on the TV. Yeah, that was wild. So crazy. I was like, how do you, you couldn't do that. I remember watching you guys, I remember watching you guys climb up the side of the boat and then they're in their act. And the whole thing was rehearsed and choreographed. And then you guys get up on the deck and you're like, ha ha. And you see, they're just like, like, what uh, what do we do? And then Jack Sparrow was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then they (laughs) jumped off the side and then somehow crawled out. I don't know how you- We how jumped you, over the fence and ran into the mall. There was and then, a mall. And then ran to the mall soaking wet to hide from all the security. Really? Wow. And all wow. that made the air. Yeah. It was and, great. And, you and should you have can, seen it. I'm like, but it, it was more like, how then. does ESPN- I, I, Like, they're liable. We're liable. It was ridiculous. I don't know. Like, Speaking of liable, dude, like- <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> this will be good. <laughs> we were- And thank you for letting us smoke weed on the bus, Tom. That was, that, that was really cool. <laughs> Back to four. <laughs> Tiger goes raw, motherfucker. Um, so, like, Ellis and I uh, were in yeah. the back of the bus, just like, you know, nine in the morning, don't know what city we're in, just spliff, 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 spliff. Call us when the demo's on. Like, just, you know, like, come knock on our door when the demo <laughs> there's a demo starts. today. We don't even if know. If there's a demo, we don't know. But then, it doesn't matter. We're then, ready. <laughs> then, then, like, word came to the back of the bus, like, NASCAR today, guys. And we're like, oh, sweet, NASCAR. <laughs> chief, chief in the way. I don't way. even want to be a part of this story. I No, I didn't. I remember getting in the car. Like, I remember, so, like, getting there, it's like, obviously, like, oh, we're going to sit shotgun in a NASCAR and drive around the track, and we're going to sit there. And yes. it's gonna be- Him and I are like, oh, they're, oh, they're yeah, going to let is, us drive. <laughs> I'm on the Tony Hawk tour. It's ESPN. Like, they got me. Like, this is totally safe. And like, just wah. And it hit me. Like, dude, like, get your shit together. (laughs) This is just you. You're the only one. (laughs) If you crash, that's right. Tony Hawk's not going to jump in and save you. Baked. And I was like, Anyway, like fucking terrifying. It just the, oh, re- the reality of the situation set in, dude. And the best wow. part of that I, is- I remember. I think I think they were limited to one hundred and sixty. Is that right? Because yeah, I feel yeah, like because we but were max. There were, were a few of us that yeah. figured it but out. I remember yeah. you got fastest, and I was second fastest. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Maybe they turned mine up a little. Bit. <laughs> Rick, my, my wheels gripped a little hard. Rick Thorne <laughs> was the slowest. Right? I remember everyone like he got by me like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that is a sobering moment though. I the when you go to the wall at 160 and you look out that side window and you're like, 
I didn't say, wow, I'm really on my own, but I was like, oh, wait, this is yeah. Yeah, this pretty is, dangerous, but, I mean, right? People when, die, like, you know, like, isn't like, I think Dale Earnhardt Jr., like that sort of exact situation, isn't he? Not Junior, sorry, Dale Earnhardt. Dale Earnhardt, yeah, but I think, they, I think they do like a, like they do 200 instead of 160. Yeah. And I think that makes a big difference. Yeah, but but there were a bunch of times on that tour that were like that. That was like skydiving cool, was the it's other fine. time. To do. And then and then it's like, wait, this is kind of heavy. It's brings me to my next story. So like we go um, the whitewater rafting. What do you, do you remember mean? the whitewater rafting in like Tahoe or in Denver? I don't what? You don't even remember that. that? So we were doing like the, like everyone in the white water. <laughs> like, we did. We did that. I don't remember. Me neither. Dude. This is awesome. I got to get video. I don't. And I'm just like, well, this is deadly. But like, oh, God. And then so just the crew we were with, like we were in the water for two seconds and just <laughs> like boat over. And we're and the, the water's going so fast. And I'm just like, like, oh, this is this is sketchy once again. And then like a boulder under the water, like hit my feet, like wham. And I was like. This is really sketchy. Like, this is like life and death. Like, get your shit together once again. <laughs> Try to make it out alive on yeah. this. Yeah. I don't remember that. Nothing. Are you sure that was that tour? A million percent, dude. I have a photo of us all on the bus. It's so sad. Markovich, everyone, bam. Like, million percent. Wow. Us doing that. Yeah. Well, uh, remember we went to we went to that water park in Texas. And wasn't that Florida? Wasn't that Hurricane Harbor in Florida? No, we went. That was when we went on the water slides. But we went to the wave pool. Right. The, the I wave thought machine. the wave, but because I thought this, this is my memory of that. You're thinking of Typhoon Lagoon. I'm thinking that because I was in like one of their booths playing our music, and someone came up, and they're like, "That's playing in which I thought was Disneyland." Yeah, yeah. It's part of Disneyland, yes. Okay, so we're at Typhoon Lagoon yeah. with the wave. But so that was Florida. That was Florida, but but we went to uh Slittermon in Texas and because they had one of those flow rider waves where it they they rush water. See, I don't think, oh, yeah, think I was there part. for that. But I remember I, my shoulder kept falling. That was out I, that I was wrecked the, you. I got hurt. Yeah. The, that was the right. worst place I got hurt was at the water park because I was surfing the wave and he jumps on it on a on a raft. No, we were all on the raft together. Oh, we were on the raft together? Yeah. There's footage of that. And right? it got it got barreled and then he went down first and then I went on him. And he got him. really hurt. Yeah. I remember yeah, that. He landed, like so we both went over the falls and then he landed on top of me. But yeah. I was still holding on, so the, the handle got me too. And I was like, exactly that. Like, oh, this is this is yeah. super dangerous. <laughs> when you uh, when this you is just the got worst real. idea. I don't know. Oh, and, and Ian Voltaire, who was in charge of the tour, broke his, broke his shoulder. Collarbone, that's right. Wow. Yeah. I remember because what, in it was, that same. Yeah, yeah. People got wow. broke because off, he was wow. on the flo the flow riders. You know, it, the it, the water's only this deep. Yeah, and so once you loop out, it's like hitting the concrete. Yeah. yeah, and he never had done it, and you know, hadn't been at the gym recently. And, and when you're like that, and you shoulder block, things break. So it's hard under there. It's padding. It's hard enough. But yeah. yeah, yeah. From the top, like if you, because they had it cranked for us too. Yeah. So well, that was the other thing is, and so. And everyone's just, it's the peanut gallery. So if you're really surfing it and you're in the barrel, someone just starts throwing shit on the wave at you. Yeah, that's right. So like projectiles are coming wow. at you because he was in the, the best barrel. Guy, and yeah. yeah, everyone was like, and then Fuck boogie, that. yeah, boogie boards are just <laughs> flying at me. I was like, what is this? Yeah. Because all of us were slamming and he's like, woo, yeah. woo. And everyone's like, fuck this guy, throw boards at him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shredding while all of us were just chicken necking all over it. <laughs> it was just like 40 dudes going, Wah! and I'm like, oh, cool. I think Bam jumped from the the front of it too, onto it, if you remember that. Uh-uh. Yeah. Just I just remember damn. hurting you because you heard Tony Hawk on the Tony Hawk <laughs> tour. Yeah. You're out. I didn't miss a demo. No. I had a good argument. You know what I mean? Did you skate it when, when we got rained out? I think it was in South Carolina or something, and we had to move it indoors, and all we had was a jump ramp and a landing. I don't And then so. we, we put a cherry picker in between it. I don't I for sure so. got stoned and watched that one, right? So. <laughs> Maybe. He might have skated. I got it. So basically, there was a good park outdoors oh, right yeah, when no, it yeah, it started that... raining. So then we moved it yes. indoors to basically what was the equivalent of a roller rink. Yeah. And they had one launch ramp and a landing ramp that was like eight feet wide. And then somehow we had a cherry picker. So we put the cherry picker in between so yeah. we could grind the rail of the cherry picker. 
It was so dangerous. I think I was like completely <clears throat> hurt by then because oh, my shoulder yeah, yeah. kept dislocating. I think by that demo, I was like, okay, I just can't skate anymore. Yeah. But that was a lot. But uh, yeah, glory days. <laughs> I know. Didn't we just tell Tiger that before the show? Something yeah. about. I remember you, it was you guys. You started playing one more time. Yes. Like we, another, that was, I think that was the same. Some people we got didn't out. like that song. We got rained out. So we, we just had like a meet and greet. And so we had a bunch of people in the room and there were all these, these moms with their kids. And then you guys had a dance party with the moms. Yeah. To Daft Punk. Yeah. One more time. That was like the theme song of that yeah. trip. Yeah. If, and I before remember the we, demo. we would play it before the demo. Yeah. yeah. And then I remember like Mike V. I know that was the most fun part about it is him and I were just like, hell yeah, man, we're going to do a demo. We're so excited. And Mike V's in the corner going, <sighs> and I'm like, what is he getting ready for? He's going to do a no, demo. And I'm, like, like, battle. I'm like, wow, he is going to really shine today because we were like, one more time. And he's like, <sighs> and, and I could tell, you know what he didn't want to hear? One more time. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't want to hear it one more time. It wasn't pumping Again. him up the same way it was pumping us. <laughs> it was a different mindset that he had back then. And he's like at a different place in his career. And we were at a different place yeah. in ours. And for sure, we were shitheads. Yep. And he was just taking it serious. And like, <clears throat> I think of the speech that he made. He like to the whole bus made a speech like, guys, like they're here to see us. Like just the raddest speech like the most heartfelt like wow like this guy this, this means the world to him and like but we were just you know dummies he gave and, everything he, he gave, always does. he gave he, he everything, gives everything yeah. dude yeah. and it's funny because like you know I'll be at a demo with like maybe the plan b team and like i feel like making that speech you know but i don't yeah. have the heart to like sure or i'd get laughed at or whatever but i remember mike making that speech and you and i in the back just like and like as the speech was winding down we were on the volume and it was like and fortunately the soundtrack did the speech that he didn't he, want. He he put up with us because yeah. he's gracious and he he's knew. a professional and he he yeah. he knew, but he knew. it was just different guys at different times of their career. Part of us was laughing all, at him, it, but it another well. part but yeah, had um, the utmost respect. Also for the him. utmost respect, right. you know. But it, yeah. yeah but, 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 but I mean, if you look at if you look at all the footage, that there was always Mike V highlights. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. yes. He you did know, not something. Yeah. He was always like that, dude. When I, I was on the Bones Brigade with him and we would do demos on mini ramp or fucking jump ramp a wall a parking lot that dude would every time like that was one of the because if i did the demo even with my lack of street talents i was always up for it you know and i'd get all sweaty and be covered in shit and you know i mean i'm and he'd be like that's what i like to see man like because i was never the guy who was like oh you're not today man i'm not really feeling i never said that so we were he was like i like that i like that you're gonna give it your all and i'm like i'm trying to keep up with you, you fucking maniac. Because yeah. it would be sometimes, it'd be yeah. like, this guy, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, man. He's not going to stop. He's going to do an hour of street plants. There's three people here. But he was a giver. Yeah. Still is a giver. He's a fucking yeah. legend. I love that dude. So I have a question, Colin. Uh, I know you've done a bunch of NBDs and a bunch of tricks that we never thought were possible. What, what's one that you did that you're like, I didn't think that was going to happen? Or I didn't think I'd ever really be able to do that? Hmm, good question. Um, because you got some tech stuff. There's nothing funner than like doing something that you're not didn't know you might be able to do. Yeah, or if anyone you know, would be able to do it. Yeah, the trick that I in a, a trick that stands out that I enjoy looking back on is is like backside tail slide flip out, and the the reason it's that trick is because we collectively haven't flipped out of much on mm -hmm. vert. Yep. And like, I think we're, we need to do more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? And they when do. I say yeah, we, they, they, I mean yeah, they. Yeah. You yeah. know, I think they need yeah. to flip out of more shit. So. Let's go, Jimmy. Let's go, Mitchie. Come on. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Did, that was not a best trick event? Um, that was not, like that was like the way, the way I, I was always filming for a part. Yeah. And then when the best trick contest came, um, I was just like, I, I, I would just get lucky and be able to do it. 
And then, so after I filmed that trick, you and I were in a best trick at like X Games, like. Oh, I think Philly. No, not Philly. I think it was LA. It was where Sean was trying 1080. And oh, it was okay. where the ramp had like this super yeah, oh, progressive the street, fucking yeah, straight so, up on the mini so ramp. Dumb, yes. And I was just like, I'm for sure doing this trick. It's not even a question. I'm just, and that was the, like the first time that it just what didn't happen for me. And I was just like, oh, damn, man, what are you doing with yourself? <laughs> like, but to Reaver, right? To Fakie, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. To fake it, sorry. <laughs> Come on, so, you know me. I live on Vert. It's Revert. So, so even if you land a back to the Holly 360, I still, I'm still calling. I mean, if you land a full, full 360, I'm still 100%. like, yeah, back to the Holly Revert. It's sick. 100. It's what not to that? take away anything. It's just how I know it to be. Right. For sure. I'm I'm caught in the between, like you know, with some of the newer kids trying to, and like the trick names change. Yeah. Like it's not the same. No. Like even though it's like no. We invented that trick and like this is yeah not anymore, but like it's <laughs> now called this. <laughs> okay. And you can't argue because like they're doing it, you know. Cab said the other day, if is it tuck leg or is it tuck knee? <laughs> and I go And we it's tuck knee. And pissed then he, ourselves laughing at him. And then he, and then he <laughs> pissed ourselves. Then he called <laughs> then he because we're laughing at him. Then he calls Lance Mountain. Oh, yeah. And Lance and is Lance like, tuck is like leg. Tuck we leg like, for a oh. hand plant. <laughs> and we're like, nah, it's tuck knee hand plant. And he's like, not when we invented it. And I'm like, okay, then <laughs> <laughs> I can't really argue with that. I wasn't there. So, Tony, same question back to you. <laughs> What's a trick that you didn't know if you could do? And don't say 900. Oh, uh, shoot, that's tricky. Um, uh, probably kickflip McTwist when I did it because when I first started trying it, I was like, you know, I, I wasn't the most confident kickflipper, um, especially grabbing my front hand wet. And so then when I tried one, it was like, I don't, I don't even know where I am. I don't know where my board is. And then one time I felt my board and I was like, hmm, there's that. And then, when you get a whiff of it and you're like, ah, uh, I. I just yeah, a but also there's a, there's an element where you're so focused. I mean, you were trying to like you're so focused on the flip that you don't you forget to snap out. All right. So you're by the time you're in position to make it, you're gonna hang up. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So when I finally did make it at Tampa, um, I you see it. I land on the bottom. I yeah, mean, did low. one of the greatest clips of vert skateboarding <laughs> ever right there because to me when i watch that clip it's like there's so much more going on than what's happening right there on the ramp you know what oh, i mean yeah. like where vert is at like you know i'm looking at that like the that was like a crazy what you night. had to deal with yeah. just to get like the fact that tony hawk is doing this trick that's never been done and the best place he has to do it is the tampa vert ramp which is the it wasn't worst. that bad of him it was not good. It was just one of the few, though. I mean, for, at the time, but it was, it was at the insanely time it was a slippery. Yeah. The roof was really low. Yeah, and then you come around and like are just like fuck it, and like you <laughs> yeah. just stand. The well, the reason I did it. The reason I did it trick. is because is because that night, Fraser did kickflip indie three sixty. Oh uh, yeah, an an another. Reaver, yeah. And I had been trying kickflip fives, and and then he made that, and like. It was it was crazy because all of the vert skaters at the time, for the most part, converged there that night. Not all of them. You guys right. weren't there, but I'm saying like a, a majority of them somehow just were at Tampa that night from out of town. Paul Zitzer, Frazier, Brian and Howard, Brian Howard, and so everyone just came together for some reason to to skate there that night. I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, it wasn't was, a contest. No. Oh, okay. Not at all. I think it was the, the, the maybe the day after a contest or it okay. was like everyone's on their way to X game. I don't remember why. But when I saw Fraser do Kick for Bindi 3, I was like I I want to do this. And yeah. If guess if I, this is the time because uh, this is the session. Yeah. It wasn't to outdo him. It was just more like this is a celebration. Yep. And somehow we're all here right now. This is the time. Yeah, it was uh and Tony has that, like, you know, now is when this is supposed to go down. Yeah. Like, he knows that, like, oh, this might not be here in two weeks. Yeah. It's, 
this is when it has to happen. Yeah. <laughs> We're here. It's going down right now. And that's such a real thing. Like, this this is the right time it to was, do this right it, well, now. It was fascinating, too, because I only made it one other time after that um, for a sequence for Transworld. And it was way harder at NCSY because it yeah. wasn't this vert. But, uh, but then Danny Mayer started doing it and just started doing it. He did on not the regular, and I, I, body body I was always body variable. He did him regular. He did both. Did he really? Yeah. Oh shit! Wow. Yeah, and, and I and I was fast. I was always like, dude, that I, seriously one of the hardest things I've ever done to this day. Even even nine hundreds, like that was one of the hardest things for me to figure out, and I had to let it go because it was so hard yeah. to do consistently. And he was just banging them out every demo. It was insane. Which says a lot because he wires every trick that he learns. Like, yeah, there's no too hard a trick. Um, <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I remember him making that, and I was like, oh, there goes that. And, like, just think, like. Because <laughs> I, ha- I thought I was in the running. Almost that same trick just won the X Games this year. Best trick. It's a very Oh, because he did flip. a barrier one. Yeah, yeah. Michi. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah, I yeah. thought was just a regular kickflip five. Oh, it yeah. Oh, you I, only knew, I, didn't I knew it was a barrier because I saw him try it here before. I was like, did he yeah. Japan it? And that's why he's. The, the, yeah. yeah. And then finally I got it. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Man, I saw some video of him skating street the other day. He's, he's doing frontside tail slide, heel flip out, like kick. I'm like, wait, what? You can do flip in, flip out stuff? That's it. He's, he's so paved the way. He's yeah. so good at street. Yeah. That I'm watching him just like, dude, how are you not dropping the greatest like street vert, like hybrid? Here, here I am yeah. part ever right now he has the capability to 100% do such a thing he does yeah, right, yeah it's what's amazing. Your, what was your trick that you did that you did, didn't think was possible i don't think i count in this game that's why i'm on radio for the <laughs> last 20 years <clears throat> what did i do jason ellis <laughs> has done some incredibly technical tricks that you wouldn't think that would yeah. come out of him like he really like he doesn't look like that dude he but just made me rem- okay i know you what it is have what is it he did like on the ledge Fakey thing, right? pivot, yeah. half cab, backside 5-0 oh, okay. on the vert ramp. Now, the one I- Fakey pivot grind, oh, yeah. half cab, 5-0. Yeah. We had a like, Philly that's... barrier at the DC ramp, and I did uh, like front sub 180, and then- uh, Fakey pivot. Fakey, which... fakey grind, and then Ollie back in and landing the big transition. Yeah. Which at the time was like- the trendiest street trick out at that moment. Right. So you did like when that's the other thing, when you can do it in time with what's happening yeah, in the then streets, you get, you, you then get some awareness. Like, yeah. You're like, yeah. okay, here, like but I that, remember, that, that brought street skaters in like, Oh, I know what that 100%, is. hundred percent. hundred percent. I remember as Danny saying, drops, bring it out. On Danny the was like, dude, you got this. And I was like, really? He's like, dude, I think you got that. And then I made it, and then he goes, dude, I didn't think you were going to make that for shit. That was crazy. I'm like, what? You just told me I had it. He's like, I was trying to help you out. <laughs> I'm like, man. But that That's was a way move for Because sure. it didn't make sense that I could do a, f- uh, ollie, a fake ollie off the coping, let alone off a Philly barrier. Like, all that didn't add up to my capabilities. And it just totally worked. I'm like, That's on video. That'll do for me. Yeah, that was like uh, – <laughs> That's you. That's you and Danny, man. Skating that ramp every day with you guys inventing I mean, you shit know, every you day. Skate I had to. How like the guys are, you know, we're, we're all feeding off each other. And we got to. I was like, I'm gonna put this ledge on the side of this uh, extension, and you were like, Yeah, put it up there. So not many other people at that ramp were like, I'm sticking ledges on the ramp. Like Danny would be like, What the fuck are you doing? No, but I got away with doing that, which got me all those weird little. Ledgy, I did backside tail slide, ollie off to the extension, backside tail slide. Oh, so like, sick. That was, See? for me, I was, I think all those tricks that I did in that Red Dragon. Any of that about, would be incredible footage if you dropped it today. If, if any one of these young vert skaters dropped it today, it would all be legitimate, incredible tricks. I did big spin LU 5 grind. All those were, uh, like when I was rolling across the flat, I was like, no way. Those all, because they don't, big spin they're not LU. for me. <laughs> no, I feel you. Oh shit! I thought for sure that was a question I couldn't answer, but yeah, cool. I got a couple. Here we go. All yeah. right. I count too, guys. I hope you all learned something. Yes. And now we're gonna go. I do want to back setters before we end. Oh. I just want to say, last yesterday, uh, I went to the barracks, and my son has never made a kickflip, and he's not really getting close. And then Sean Molto, shout out to you, you fucking champion. 
gave my son some tips on how to do a kickflip and immediately started looking like one. And then he made it in front of all of us and like got emotional Sight. about it. So I was Sight like, with his back foot too, proper. He really cares. Like, and to see it and like, I went over there to pound it out. I'm like, dude, no way. And he's emotional. I'm like, dude, this is the, you're a fucking legend. Do you know that? <laughs> like, so you're sick. so cool right now. He's like, don't, don't post the emotional bit. I'm like, okay, I get it. You got friends or whatever. But I'm like, that's what it's about. Like, you yeah. care. Yeah. You know, Amazing. like, you, you're so, you're going to remember this for the rest of your life. That's and right. I got to be there. Like, isn't that yeah. what we've been chasing the whole time? What's that? Isn't that what we've been chasing the whole time? I guess, right? Yeah. I can't, you That's know, it. I can't Still, even imagine it how meant more cool than me that doing must it, be you know? to watch your yeah. son rip. Like, that's just incredible, dude. Like, like how do you oh, feel when yeah. Riley skates vert? Is that cool to you? It's pretty cool, yeah. That's do you right. ever feel yeah. like... I, I mean, he's, he has a vert ramp now. Wait, in his house? Yeah. Really? Wait, the ramp that he's skating, that's his ramp? Yeah. Oh, sweet. That helps. Yeah, it's wild. Awesome. He, he's, it's, it's, um, it's funny to see him waver on things because he was, he was skating. The, the, his crew, like their coffee shop crew, was skating here every Monday. They had Vert Mondays for a while. They actually still have that Instagram page, yeah. Vert Mondays, and they were killing it. And like Riley started learning sad plants and eggplants, and he was doing all that stuff. And then I think something happened with an eggplant. He hung up or something, like hit his bonks his front wheel. You know how that goes? Yeah. Bonk front wheels, and then he got scared off of it. Right. And now he's trying to relearn it, but it's interesting to watch him because he's so hesitant with it now. Yeah. But he skates his ramp for like 20 minutes at a time, gets a little, gets comfortable, gets some arrows, and then he's out. Right. Smart. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. I feel like proper what's vert it like? skating. What's it like? It's crazy. I think kids that start on vert and then go to street have like some, some Well, I mean, it's the, advantage. That, he, he's of the- you know, he's of the the Sheckler Park generation. Right. That just you skated everything, skate everything. Like, like you did, but you earlier on, mm -hmm. where skating vert is just another thing you do, right. right? And skating transitions are like, yeah, that's that's where we live. So it's awesome. Well, uh, I, thanks for being on the show, dude, and thanks Thank for, you for having me. I'll say it on record. Thanks for always being a good friend to me and always helping me out. You know, because there was a. <laughs> There was a time there where maybe not that many people did, but you always had my back, and I appreciate. Well, that. there was a lot of time where I also needed someone that I could lean on, and you were that for me. Thank you, dude. I love you. Love appreciate you, too, you so much, Tony. Thank you so much for all you've done for me for my whole career. Dude. Everything you've done from the inspiration and tricks, the the leader mentorship as a kid, letting me crash at your house when I was helping a grom. you put your snowboard boots into the bindings. <laughs> Helping you me about put that. my bindings on not. all the way till now, dude. Like uh, the only reason I'm skating right now is because like you allow me to skate this ramp, oh, the, yeah, the, the best ramp me ever too. made. And thank you for that, dude. I, well, hey, I can't for, tell you what it means. Thanks for all the inspiration and all the tricks through the years. I, if, if there was anything that I ever wanted to learn, I was like, if that touches anything Colin can do, then I feel like I've accomplished something. Yeah. Always. It's felt like that. Where it's like, dude, this is a Colin McKay trick. Like, you have reached a new level. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. That's awesome. Protect Crooks Figgy. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>